So here we are looking at CBIS, C-B-I-S. Not sure when the last time I did it was, but uh, it's been a pretty popular chart, and I had a bunch of questions come in on it. So uh, I can see why. Very nice looking past couple of days. A great way to end the week, and then great way to start the week. So um, interest seems to really be starting to rise in this one again. So it has been a while. So wanted to get it updated here from the technical uh, perspective. So the first thing to start off with um, is just kind of a, a great little example of the power of charts and the power of uh, moving averages. You can see here this purple line is the 50-day simple moving average. And when it, ever since it broke above it up here in early January, there's been a couple of times, the first time being right here, where it you know made a move, pulled back, consolidated, found support right here and actually on this note too it found it right at the 200 day per, uh, simple moving average which is that orange line big move up so trampoline mode came back down and you can see here did bounce off it on that day and then pretty close on this set of days and then once again back into trampoline mode so just a great example uh, of why at least in my opinion uh, you should always be keeping your eye on the charts and the moving averages so now let's actually break down what's been going on with the chart currently um, like I had noted, we are seeing the trampoline mode and it's heading back upwards and it's approaching some key areas of resistance. First, let's just talk about a couple of supports. I kind of already talked about the main one, that being this purple line here, the 50-day simple moving average. Uh, so kind of in the grand scheme of things, is this, as long as this one continues to hold, uh, then that's exactly what you want to see. And if it doesn't, then I'd imagine the price would probably head down to its bigger brother down here at the 200 period simple moving average. But uh, you know, so far as history has shown us, uh, this level seems to, have, to be a really good level of support. Shorter term levels of support, uh, I'd classify that as being right here at this level, which was some previous highs up at 12 cents. So 12 cents will, whoops, that should be green for support. 12 cents will be the uh, ideal level of support. I mean, ideally, I'd like to see this one hold, but if it doesn't, because you still have the 50 day down here uh, then you know this is more like the must hold but ideally uh, that this level would be great if 12 cents could hold uh, now for the fun stuff let's talk about some resistance levels the level of resistance that I'm kinda looking at and didn't quite hit it today but uh, is gonna be right here at uh, 17 and a quarter so 0 0.1725 so let me change this to red for resistance uh, we have a bunch of different kind of areas here, so I'm kind of trying to, you know, split the difference and just find the middle ground. You know, we had this high here, which wasn't quite as high. Uh, we had a couple here that were higher, and then obviously this one way up here. Uh, but this level right here at 0.1725, we'll call that the shorter term resistance level. And then with the break of that, uh, really, you know, for argument's sake, I'm assuming it really did go up there and hit that. I don't think that's a fat finger uh, trade. Uh, but with the break of that, I'd, I'd almost call it a, a miniature blue sky breakout as the next level of resistance wouldn't be up until basically 24 and a half cents. Um, so again, the resistance levels, first one right here at 17 and a quarter, and then up here uh, at 25 cents. So basically an eight cent um, space between this resistance and that one. So the upside potential here uh, is pretty favorable, especially if the volume bars can keep increasing like they've been doing. Uh, from a volume analysis standpoint, this is exactly what you want to see happen during upwards movement, uh, you know, the stair step upwards within the volume bars, you know, is a nice little sign. So overall, though, good looking chart. I'd imagine that today's action is going to put even more eyeballs on the chart. Uh, so we'll see what happens the rest of this week. If there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out BullWarriorStocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get charts, set up, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards on a penny stock. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. It is all free. So I'd encourage you to swing by the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. One more time, this was CBIS. Thanks for listening.